Hey, welcome back, Rankers. How are you going? What a year it's been. 2024 is going to be huge. I said at the beginning of this year that we had to replicate ourselves to the team, and to a large extent, we've been doing that. Uh, we've created so many different applications and processes using AI that not only saves five minutes there, 10 minutes there, 15 minutes there, 20 minutes there, but it actually allows us to do things we just wouldn't normally be able to do, like competitor insights down to a product level for a client. Uh, that's just too cost prohibitive to do because it takes a couple of hours at least to review one product and find the differences. Uh, we could do it in, in minutes and it was worth an increase in, in 220% increase in revenue for one product uh, by implementing the changes that we found. And they were just simple things that the client had been asked about around the product, but no one had, had the time to go down and look at product descriptions and look at competitive product descriptions as well. So all of these things have enabled us to do a much better job and also opened up new opportunities for us as well. And the, the space is moving so fast. Like 12 months ago, I was out for dinner and I was with friends and I was talking to a 16 year old at the table, uh, my de facto grandson, and we taught him how to write a 500 word essay about World War I uh, using ChatGPT. And even back then, I was saying the way that you give it your spin is, and I explained him how to prompt it back then, so it was not generic. And ever since, I've trained my other two grandsons as well uh, to use this tech. And the reason for that is that it's not going away. Everyone needs to learn it. And the more that you understand how to use the tech and apply it, the better off you're going to be in the future and the better off your businesses are going to be in the future. I've been talking to businesses uh, this year and even just this week about future-proofing. And I think it's something that's on everyone's mind. It certainly was for us at the beginning of the year. And I said we had to start doing these things before we become redundant and AI takes over. And that wasn't hyperbole, and I certainly didn't think it was an exaggeration. But I did say it's like a better paintbrush. So if you're already good at something, this will make you better at it. This will make you, or give you the ability to amplify what you do. And that's been true for us in everything that we've created this year, from the Chrome extensions I was working on over Christmas last year, uh, which just seemed crazy now because I could create them like that with some of the tools we've got now if I needed to. Through to today where uh, we've created so many things and we know, we have the understanding that this is just the start. You know, next week those things that we've created might be redundant. But what we haven't lost is the learning and the understanding and the knowledge of how to create those things using this tech. And that was true for the internet when it first came about. It was certainly true for computers when they first came about. I mean, you think of, uh, <laughs> I was the computer geek in the family, right? Because I bought my first computer in 1983. Um, in the 1990s, I was out selling websites and I went to an old employer, a newspaper publisher, in 1995, trying to get the idea of online subscriptions uh, and newspapers uh, online back then. But of course it was a fad. And that newspaper no longer exists, like so many. In the late 1990s, I was talking to people about advertising in streaming media, because we'd built Australia's first internet radio stations. We had these video shows we were doing online in 1999, 2000. We did a webcast from Antarctica via satellite phone. Amazing, right? Uh, but we couldn't sell ads because the media buyers at the time couldn't get their heads around. A lot of those companies no longer exist. And the same is true with this. It's the more you understand it, the more literate you become in how to use it and how to apply it, then the better you're going to be at it. Just this week, we've seen so many things evolve. Uh, we've had Hello. Uh, Welcome to Channel, Channel One, one AI have released a 22-minute newscast 
that has been generated completely with AI, including all the newscasters, the voices. Uh, yes, it's creepy, but for me, it's like, well, at least we know they're sock puppets, right? Uh, and on the other side of the coin, we've got Google finally uh, getting into the game, releasing its new models and also tools to help you use them and also for free. So there's no excuse, right? Chat GPT to get the professional version, 20 bucks US a month, and I would advise everyone to get that as well. Uh, just because, once again, the more you understand how to use it and apply it, get better results, uh, the faster and more efficient you're going to be able to be at amplifying your own skills, right? So it's going to be a big year the next year, and even I think this morning we've seen another open source model which is meant to be good, as good as Chat GPT 3.5, and this is just the first release. Apparently, there's another one that's coming that could be better than Chat GPT 4. It's open source, meaning that it's free, anyone can use it. And I saw someone this morning had installed it on their phone, right? So this is what we're talking about back in, in February, about AI assistants. They're going to be prolific. They're going to be everywhere. And with everything that we do, it's about how do we help our businesses, our, our clients' businesses grow with this tech. And when everyone's got this tech on their phone, they'll be asking their assistant where to buy X, all right? They won't be going to Google. Uh, Apple still hasn't come out with anything on the AI front. So with Google releasing their tools, they've also released a model of their large language model into their Pixel phones. So Apple has to come out now with something better. So this is what's happening next year and there's going to be further developments and it's going to become easier to use if you know how. So I would say it does feel like 1995 again and it's time to, if you haven't already, really start using the tech and have a think about your own business and how you could apply automation, uh, speed up things, time consuming tasks, repetitive tasks, those sorts of things. Uh, because there's a lot of tools out there now where those sorts of productivity uh, hacks can be done a lot cheaper and faster than what they ever could before. Hopefully that's helpful. Thank you for all your support this year and for the last 18 years now. And please like, share, subscribe, tell your friends, and have a fan bloody tastic Christmas and a happy new year. And I just can't wait for 2024. It's going to be exciting, that's for sure. Please, if you want to know any more about the training that we've got coming up in the new year, make sure you leave a comment, subscribe, and you'll be kept informed about that. Thanks very much. Bye.